Hello beautiful souls, it is Zach here tuning in again from Mexico, but not for much longer. <laughs> yeah, today I realized yet again, it was like another confirmation. Basically, I'm working on this personal growth program with a, with a friend of mine and there's like multiple steps to it and uh, it's going to be quite elaborate when it's finished. But I'm realizing it's like... I've really primarily been studying spiritual development and spiritual topics for like the past five years. A little bit of personal development topics here and there, but I also have a good understanding of personal development topics because I have also studied them as well in the past and throughout my life. So it's like, I can see how I'm one of those forerunners because I'm certainly not the only one, but like I'm one of those forerunners who's like bridging the gap between like, kind of modern mainstream personal development and spiritual development because I can see where those bridges need to be made especially in like the spheres of like particularly well yeah personal development like cultivating self-worth and like so much of personal development is so focused on like solutions and it's like you go to a coaching program or you go to a personal coach or something like that or a life coach and I'd be like solution 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 but really what I feel is missing in these arenas as well as like the emotional healing aspect is so much focused on the mind like the the mainstream the mainstream personal development at least to me appears to focus so much on the mind at least it has and so I know that myself as well as many others right now we're all kind of combining like emotional healing with the traditional kind of teachings of how the mind works and all of that stuff and the subconscious and and psychology and all of that so yeah it just feels really in alignment for me I'm feeling really it all makes sense now it's like I remember I was once told by someone who I give a lot of value to their word obviously and <laughs> they once said I would be f going and focusing more towards like creating courses and offering coaching to people and I've been saying this now for years and it's it's been it's, it's been years since I was told that and it's just really has, it's slotting into place I can see why now because it's like it's exactly what I'm doing I'm just not really coaching people so much on like a one on one like here's a session pay me for it kind of style right now because I just don't feel like doing that at the moment it's just I can do it but it's just I don't know, I feel like I've got other things that I want to focus on for the time being. I'm just enjoying my life as much as I can before I settle into committing to that kind of like way of working because I feel that when I do have clients, like they, they're important, you know? I, I can't just abandon them halfway through uh, an emotional healing um, like series of sessions for example I need to stick with it and be and show up and be consistent so yeah another thing that I found out another thing that I realized again today as well is about doing the one thing you know and I've I've noticed like throughout the past few years I've kind of been I suppose a little bit sporadic I I knew what I was wanting to manifest and that was time freedom but the ways I went about it were like putting my fingers in different pies and just hoping that I would grow one big ginormous revenue generating stream but the thing is if you chase two rabbits you'll catch none this dog's going for it <laughs> but yeah it's it's one of those realizations today of like just focus and hone on one thing and this is, this is something else I've realized as well today as well was like I was experimenting with this Forex auto trading software and it has a really good track record but recently it's had a bit of a well it was just a particular kind of market move and it didn't really take that market move too well and so I lost some money and through that I've realized today it's like hmm you have to be a bit mindful you know I have to kind of think about this differently so there's like there's kind of three prongs of like first of all you need to be able to you need to be generating income right you need to be generating revenue and then secondly you need to be saving that revenue and then thirdly you can invest it as well but you need, ideally to be 
to be to become or to be wealthy to to have that kind of I mean wealth is different for everyone right but I'm just talking for example in my own terms of being able to have enough financial security to be able to just go about creating whatever I wish without having to worry about money so having enough money not to have to worry about it right so that's just being keeping my head above the water at all times just like uh, but also not having to really spend so like exchange so much of my time and to to receive that money so basically working smart but then the working smart in that way is then enabling me to spend all of that time that would otherwise be put onto a day job it's enabling me to spend that new time on creation and creating things that are going to benefit not just me working a typical day job but me creating these things that are going to benefit thousands and millions of people ultimately in the long run so that's the big goal and yeah so generating income so a, a, a regenerative income stream even as well just like something that generates its own revenue and then for me it's a combination of saving and investing whereas for the past few years i've just been focused on generating but just investing, <laughs> not really saving, just like my savings were my investment pot. <laughs> Every bit of savings I had was going into investments and it's, well, next year is going to be really exciting and I'm really looking forward to it, but let's just, let's just see how it goes. Don't count your eggs before they're in the basket, but like, yeah, the money's not important. It's about me creating impact. It's about what I can do with the time. You know, the time is what's valuable to me. The time is what's valuable. And whether that's creating courses for for the wider population to benefit them and uplift their lives, or if it's time to be able to just spend with my family rather than focusing so much on all of this stuff. Spending that time enjoying life, spending time doing what I love and doing even more of what I also love and also other things that I love. So, <laughs> you know, Good, exciting times. I just wanted to share this. This has just been completely in the flow. And um, yeah, so I'm going back to the UK in a few days on Sunday, probably. I'm kind of feeling like it's going that way now. I don't have to, I could stay here a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go back, face the cold weather. It's beautiful here right now. It's like got a nice coolness in the air, uh, but there we go. Back to Blighty, back to the, back to the rainy shores and cold temperatures, but it'll be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And I really appreciate something about English winter is, um, is nice, especially on the lead up to Christmas. So yeah, we'll see one step at a time, all exciting stuff. Check in with you again soon. Much love to you all. Blessings. <laughs>